Hey guys, Stephen Trouble with a video for you guys. In today's video, we're going to show you how to transfer your contacts from one iPhone to another in five different ways. So let's get started. So the first method we have is probably the most easiest and simplest way to do it, and that's going to be the most recommended way, which is using your iCloud. So in order for you to do that, first thing is you're going to make sure you're connected to a Wi-Fi, good Wi-Fi, preferably the same Wi-Fi, and then you want to make sure that you're signed into the same exact account on both devices. So your existing device and the new device should have the same Apple account signed in. And once you're signed in, we're going to go ahead and click on that account here. Now on your existing phone that you have the contact, you want to click over here and then click on iCloud. And in your iCloud, you want to make sure where it says contacts, you want to make sure that it is greened and turned on with your iCloud. So you want to make sure that is turned on. And then after that, you want to go to where it says iCloud Backup. And you want to make sure iCloud Backup is turned on. And what you'll do is click on Backup now. So you want to make sure this backup happens and you're connected to a power if you need to or and you're on good Wi-Fi so you can do the backup of all the contacts on your iCloud account. Now after you have done that, what you'll do is on the new device, again, signed into the same account that you are signed in on the previous account, you're going to click over here and then click on iCloud. And then this time, you want to ensure that you're going to again click on show all maybe here and then look for contacts here. And the same thing applies. You want to make sure that the contacts is turned on. So, I'll show you guys example of this one. As you can see here, contacts here, I don't have any here. And then here, I have these contacts here. So, what will happen is when I go back here with the contacts, I turn that on. It will ask you if you have existing contact to maybe merge, which you'll click merge. If it does have a merge, you turn this on and then make sure you're connected to Wi Fi. You know, you open this up and you should see all of your contact up here just like that. If it doesn't show up right away, go ahead and slide and close out the contact app and try one more time. Again, it's good to be on good Wi Fi if you have like a tons of contact. It might take a little bit time to for it to load up or bring up to the new device to transfer to happen so be a little bit patient but that's going to be the fastest and the easiest way to transfer all of your contact from one iphone to another now the second method i have is for phones that use sim card like a physical sim card so iphone 14 doesn't have a physical sim card for some of the older devices like iPhone 13 and stuff will have a SIM card and the SIM card can actually store your contacts as well if you back it up there. In order to import using SIM card or transfer from old phone, like if you're taking out the SIM card from old phone putting in the new one, what you can do is if it didn't get imported already, you go into settings here and then this time in the settings here, you'll look for the contact app here and then you click on this button where it says import sim contact that means all the contacts that's been on your sim card will get imported to your phone here now this again will only be applicable to sim card now the next method we have if you don't have a physical sim card or your sim card doesn't work is using airdrop now this airdrop method kind of isn't the greatest because it only will allow you to do one contact at a time so let's say we have a contact we want to share so this one, for example, right, if I want to share this one, I click on that contact and then I'll click on share contact. And then once that happens, airdrop will come up. I'll click on airdrop and then you'll airdrop it to your phone. Now, this method is a little bit tedious because you have to do one at a time. Now, let's say you have tons of contact. You have to go through one at a time if you're not using the iCloud or the SIM sim import option here. So you'll go through each one individually and keep on air airdropping it so if you click on it it will drop it other thing you can do which is another method is sending through message so if you have like another phone you can just share it with them with the message which will allow you to kind of type the message and then send them the contact so you can just share that using the method here so you can send them to whatever contact you want you can just share it click on share and then send it as a message and then it will come up like this and then the person or the number that you want to share now you'll have to do one at a time so if the new if you have a new number you keep on doing it till you get all the contacts over now all the next method you can do after if it all doesn't all of these doesn't work is doing a backup of your old iPhone on your computer using your MacBook or PC using iTunes will back up it through there and then once you back up, you restore it with the new phone. Now that's going to be if you're setting up the phone for a new, oh, new phone, which we you know outline in another video. You want to check that video out to fully show how that method works because it takes a little bit longer to do. But that's about it when it comes to transferring your contacts from one iPhone to another. Those are 
five different ways you can do it. Hopefully this video is helpful. If so, please make sure to like and subscribe button. Thanks for watching, guys. See you guys next time.